Welcome to part 2 of the carbon cleaning video. Now that the manifold is off, we can start cleaning all that gunk off the intake valves. When you are cleaning the valves, make sure you are only cleaning the cylinders that are closed. You don't want liquid and garbage falling into the cylinder. Depending on how your engine turns off, you can have up to 3 cylinders closed. Go ahead and clean those first, and then crank the engine over for a second or two so the fourth cylinder closes. First you need to gently pull out these flaps or baffles. They might be a little stuck, it all depends on how dirty everything is in there. You can let the baffles soak while you do the actual cleaning on the valves. I'm using brake cleaner and this intake valve cleaner to soak the valves and the baffles to clean up all that carbon. These are the flaps or whatever you want to call them, they're sitting inside the, the cylinder head. And they're all dirty. So I pulled them out, we're going to soak them in brake cleaner and that valve cleaner. And it's been soaking for maybe 10 minutes and you can already kind of scrape it off with your fingernail. So something's working. I'm going to let all this stuff soak, this stuff in here and the valves, I'm going to let them soak for like half an hour to an hour. So these have been soaking for about half an hour and I want to see how clean I can get them. It's sort of coming off, but not too well. You can sort of still see where it's where it's clean and where it's not. We're gonna go ahead and soak these some more. So this is basically the cleaning process I used. I soaked all of the intake valves with a brake cleaner and intake valve cleaner. This was this is supposed to be for direct injection engines. But I'm not sure if this actually works better than brake cleaner. So what I did was I sprayed it in there, filled up the, the ports almost to the top, let them soak overnight. Came back and then I used one of these or you can use like a turkey baster. If you have kids you know what this is, you get one at the hospital. Uh, this is from my first kid so what we're going to do is just suck out all the fluid that's in there. I use an air compressor to blow out any remaining fluid to check my progress. This isn't clean enough so we're going to go ahead and do it again. This whole process probably takes about 10 to 15 minutes per cylinder. This requires a lot of elbow grease to clean up manually. So basically you need to spray the cleaner and then use the brush. You suck out the dirty fluid, spray in some more clean fluid and then use the brush again. Do this a couple times, then blow it dry and check your progress. If you like how clean it is, move on to the next cylinder. If it's still dirty, continue spraying and brushing until you're satisfied with how clean everything came out. Once you have all the valves clean, it's time to clean the cylinder head where it contacts the intake manifold and remember to clean and replace the baffles you removed. So these are those baffles that go into the cylinder head. You guys remember how dirty they were? Uh, they soaked for well, they soaked overnight, and then I um, scraped them down with a brush and sprayed them with some brake clean. So they are pretty clean. Don't forget to put them back in.
and then they go if you if you're looking at it they can go in this way or this way and that metal plate is on one side of the plastic so you want to put the metal plate on the top these o-rings you see here um, the manual recommends replacing them but I'm gonna go ahead and try using them as they are uh, when you take off the intake they are going to be stuck in the fuel rail there so I pull them out I sprayed them down with some um, WD-40 just to lubricate them so they're not super dry and then I just put them back onto the injectors I ran into a little trouble putting the intake manifold back on because I had an injector wire getting caught between the head and the manifold. When you're putting everything back together, make sure there's nothing in the way. I hope you find these videos helpful. Subscribe and tune in next week for more.